Okay, let's just put the curve on there. Because we've got a good foundation going right there. Much better. Much better. I gotta hit that with something like 320 now, not 220. So that's a good initial um, door glass swipe. The uh, seam seal is still wet, as you could see when I blew in there. You could see it ripples. It's no big deal. I got a little excited. I put that in too soon. I just didn't want any bondo keeping me from getting it down in the edge. So I gambled. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's it, guys. We are calling it for tonight. I just wanted to come out here and shape it. Uh, I want to just hit the edge one last time with something much finer, which I don't have. And uh, I'll also do that and get some uh, epoxy on here. Um, that's good. Okay, that's come a long way. That doesn't look like the disaster it was. And uh, the trim should fit just the way it did before. And with the original metal, metal, and this is really at the original metal, because it's a skim there. Um, okay. Well, that's it, guys. I know this is a real short video. Taking the mask off. Huh. So, yeah, this is going to be a real short one. But uh, I just want to do this. But tomorrow, this will set up harder too, and I could work around it and sand on it. Um, but it looks like it stayed in everywhere it had to be. We could always recoat it very thin if we wanted to, give it a scuff and a coat. But uh, I think uh, I think we made some progress this weekend on it. Well, it wasn't a bad weekend at all. Good work on the car. Some family time, friend time. And uh, now we need some relax time. So, uh, I guess that's about it, guys. I'll talk to you later.